Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When entering a partial customer payment, once again, you would begin by selecting customers from the menu bar and then choosing the Receive Payments command in order to open the Receive Payments window. Then select the name of the customer or customer job from the Received From dropdown. Now enter the partial payment amount and the method by using the fields available at the top of this window. The unpaid invoices will appear at the bottom of the window. If you want QuickBooks to attribute the payment to anything other than the oldest invoice, you can click the Unapply Payment or Clear Selections button, as it's called in QuickBooks 2003 through 2004, to clear the check marks from the selected invoices. In the listing of unpaid invoices, you can then click into the rightmost white column and change the amount that is being applied to the invoice by typing in the partial payment amount to apply. In QuickBooks 2011, entering partial payments also allows you to select write off the extra amount at the bottom of the screen. This also appears in QuickBooks 2010. You may want to use this feature if a customer accidentally shorted you a small amount that is not worth rebilling. By default though, leave this as an underpayment is selected and you will be able to receive payments on that item in the future. At this point you can click either the save and close or save a new button to save the transaction. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.